All right, everybody, divas of creation, devas of creation, davas of creation, whatever you want to call it, is dying. And uh, I did some research on this. I went online, I went onto the Discord server, and I was talking to some people uh, that also actively play it. I think I also got to level 50. You can see uh, I completed my complete, I mean, the story, of course. I was very disappointed. I'm going to tell you, I was very di disappointed that you don't get anything for completing that I'm going to tell you how it is, this very repetitive story. Um, not a bad story though like if you like reading and if you like following along and stuff I think you should be fine but um, once you reach the 100% right there's this so to speak end game opening up to you you should be between level 40 50 or higher when you finish the story and then you're the only thing that you really are able to to do like the actual stuff it's like PvP stuff and that's it um, you, you didn't get anything from it there wasn't even uh, like a level up or just anything I think I think I was 49 or something or level 50 as well uh, when I finished it and it just finishes you just click on and it goes and then you just like wait and I'm like is that it? I was actually running around. I was running around places just to figure out like what's going on right now. Uh, but I got to tell you though, people are hating a little bit. Um, I went onto the Discord server and I was talking to the people in there and I just asked them like, what's going on? Like, do you enjoy the game? What do you think is missing? And people are saying that, uh, we, which came up a lot by the way. Uh, by the way, there's the beautiful content creator role. Oh, I love it. Anyways, um, and I was talking to the people and they were talking about uh, the lack of updates. And I do agree with that. I think there's content missing now everybody's reaching the end and most of the uh, people are actually stopping so actually uh, an old friend of mine hunter uh, from Bladers Rebirth actually told me uh, to play this game that I should make some video on it and I did it wasn't really popping off as I would have loved to because I gotta be honest didn't do too much content on it anyways but uh, the idea the whole the, the shell of the game is pretty good like the first time you get in there you're gonna be like damn this is like a, this is like a nice MMO RPG, so to speak, right? You can you know, take out the enemies or you can do questing and there's some interesting stuff in there. But in the end, later on, uh, I do notice that there's stuff missing. You kind of like have this nice shell of a game um, and then you just kind of like continue playing and then it suddenly like it, it cracks open. What is this? Oh, it's my cape. What the hell? Looks like I'm stuck in the air. Um, and then just suddenly, uh, oh, it, was it the tail? I don't even know. Uh, anyways, and then it just cracks open and then you start starting to see the flaws in the game, right? And I, I kind of have the same feeling with this game. Uh, sadly, the stock is going down a little bit. Uh, I, I, w I was hoping for this last weekend that we actually got an update uh, within that time. And I think that would have been perfect. Uh, just introducing, I don't know, raids maybe, or just like some boss, I think they had a about a few weeks time now since release uh, to actually drop something out of that. People are very impatient uh, because Roblox, and that is what people need to know, Roblox is a fast platform. Of course, we do have uh, a few games that run on its own like Blocks Fruits or, you know, some other big ones like Bee Swarm Simulator that update like once a month and everybody thinks that they are, that they are them. But what they don't know is that uh, for example with uh, Bee Swarm and stuff they, they used to be frequent updates so you need to get like this thing going they need to have like like momentum and once there is momentum and once there's like uh, more content added to the game and more mechanics and more stuff uh, I do believe that uh, that would change a lot and now let's talk about something else which is ba balancing and I noticed this a lot so they, they've been changing a few things around there was a major change for Dex players which I was part of because I'm a bow guy and I'm uh, I, I just enjoy bows I gotta be honest bow and Dex is really cool. I, I like to play these characters in games, but I do have to say that I do like magicians as well. I do like magic, and I do like, uh, you know, being able to cast some spells. Uh, and that these guys totally fall flat now, because there was this huge buff where Dex was buffed into Oblivion. It was crazy. People were doing so much damage. I think right now they have done a little bit of a uh, like a silent change where where the dex is not as strong anymore but it's still very very powerful which means mages they are kind of like Hmm, not really that useful anymore. I just gotta say how it is, everybody. There's also a healing class 
mm, that I just recently got uh, into, and I enjoy it. I enjoy it because what I wanted to do is have a little bit of healing alongside of my damage builds and stuff like that, just so I can do some PvE content, basically. And uh, leveling that thing is oblivious. It's not fun at all, uh, especially when you switch to uh, intelligence and wisdom. Why do I keep trying to pick up the loot? I know that I'm not getting any loot here. Um, and yeah, so the, these are like the major points right now. It's, I, I would assume uh, it's the balancing. Uh, I think it's also the content. That's the biggest issue every and any Roblox game has. I'm going to quickly tell you why. Usually they have people, they, they build a game. It takes about a half a year or a few months or a year even sometimes uh, to build, build a game. But once they release, they suddenly get this boom, they get this hype, 20,000, 30,000, 40,000 people mm, are suddenly playing that game, and then they, because they already needed such a long time to develop it, uh, actually throwing in their updates uh, is gonna be a mess, it's a total mess. You see it with Bladers Reboot. with basically almost every game that I have played, uh, it, it just dies out due to developer inactivity. Of course, we gotta understand their side uh, of things as well, but here Here's one thing that I want to give on to developers out there and up-and-coming up developers. If you develop something, always plan in future updates and already get them ready. Have them ready. Have at least half a year of content that you can dish out. Rather spend more time in the development phase, but then have something that you can actually dish out and more mechanics and stuff like that. Because you can see games like Davis or Davis, Davis of whatever, of creation is really, really struggling now. It had about 20,000 players now it has about four i think it cracked down in four or five thousand and that is just because yep there's not much more to do right now obviously i could do some pvp but they d they made it a little bit too difficult uh, gathering and crafting legendary items. It just takes too long. It just takes too long. This is not a single standing MMORPG. This is still a Roblox game based on a Roblox platform with a Roblox engine, you know, done with Lua. And that is the issue because it's a fast platform and you can't have slow games in there unless you do it right. And that, like I said, there were a few like Blox Fruits and like others that did it actually right. And, um, yeah, anyways, this is basically it. All I wanted to say, stock market is going down a little here. I hope that they can actually grab themselves again and dish something out the next weekend. If they cannot, I actually see a pretty bad future for them in the near future. What do you think? Tell me in the comment section below. I hope you enjoyed this uh, little analysis on what I've gathered on Discord with, with some people. I talked to some people, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.